Mm. So refreshing. It's beautiful. Oh my god, it's so good. Now, welcome to my kitchen. Are you ready for the juicy time? Yes, I'm sure you are. You see, um, if you're walking in the malls in Thailand, Bangkok, even in certain wet markets in Malaysia, yep, um, you are sold a bottle of pomegranate juice for about, I don't know what, eight, 10 uh, ringgit, right? Um, but I can't remember the last time how much was it, but theoretically, it's not cheap, right? It's not cheap in actual, it's, it's pretty expensive. Now, some people ask me this, Mark, is it worth to pay that money for a bottle of pomegranate juice? My answer is yes, it, it's expensive for a reason. Pomegranates are not cheap to begin with, for those of you if you have been buying pomegranates at home. So uh, it's definitely amazing, right? Now, but of course, if you wanna save some money, and uh, not only that, I think for me, the more important thing is not about saving money, the more important thing is that, how can I be consuming it as frequent as possible? This is where I wanna share with you very simple ways that you can do and enjoy pomegranate juice at home, in your office or in anywhere, right? It's just so easy. Now, before I talk about how you can juice pomegranate, okay? Um, just let me share with you. Now, of course, you can just eat pomegranate on its own if you want to, but um, I would prefer personally for myself to drink it, okay? So now, what I have with you here today is that I've got two beautiful babies here, two equipments, um, that will help you make your pomegranate juice, right? So on my left side here, I have a cold press juicer and on my right side here, this is a pomegranate presser. It's, it's purely meant for pomegranates. Uh, you can't really use it for anything else, right? Uh, unless if you want to use it for citrus fruits like your lemons, your oranges, still possible, but the ideal one is definitely for pomegranate, okay? So this is a, this is a very solid baby here. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to share with you how do you cut your pomegranate. So if you come uh, and look at how I'm going to cut this right, actually there is a, a way of cutting it correctly. So you don't cut from top down from this angle, right? So it should always be this side where you turn your pomegranate. This is the correct way of cutting a pomegranate. A lot of times I see a lot of people are just doing it incorrectly and that's why they don't see a lot of pomegranate juice coming out. So what you want to do is that you just want to um, slice it into half. Alright, now I'm going to show you how you're going to be making a glass of beautifully red clear pomegranate juice that tastes like your Ribena, you know, tastes like your red wine, you know, because, you know, sometimes people ask him, Mark, why sometimes my pomegranate juice uh, turns out to be a bit milkish. Um, I want that, that wine color. Now, the wine color is dictated not by the pomegranate, but it's dictated how you juice it, okay? So, after slicing this half, okay, and you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you do it on a proper chopping board because it can be really, really bloody, really, really messy, okay? Now, apart from that, I just want to share with you one very important tip is this. Try to avoid the white parts here. Okay, of the pomegranate. This is where it is really bitter. Okay, so what you want to consume is only the, the aerials or, or the seeds, right? So, so this, this small little tiny bits here, these are called the aerials, in fact. Okay, now, how do you remove this before I'm going to start talking about juicing? Now, what you want to do is that get yourself a big bowl or small bowl, whatever you want. Um, I have this amazing tool with me, but if you don't have a hammer, you can just grab anything that is hard. Now, what you want to do next is that you want to turn it to the back and you want to start hammering it. This will allow you to remove the seeds, right? Or the aerials of the pomegranate beautifully without messing things up. So I see people using spoons trying to, you know, trying to get it out. Uh, you don't have to do that, right? So just hit it hard. You can see that it's coming out now. Okay, all right, so now I have removed the aerials of the pomegranate. This is how it looks like. So it's, it's not entirely clean. I'm gonna continue hitting that in a short moment. 
Now, this is how and this is when it's time for you to start using it, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna be inserting all the aerials inside. So to make a glass, you probably need about two to three pomegranates. Okay, I'm just gonna continue heating this. You can see the table is already very bloody. It's a bit messy. Now if you get the juice of the pomegranate on your clothes. Uh, don't worry, it's, it's definitely still removable. It's not as bad as beetroot. Okay, so this is another tip for you. Beetroot, ah, it's a deep, deep problem if you get you get that on your white white shirt or your white attire. Hey, okay, all right. Here you go. Voila! Okay. So I'm just gonna pour this in. This is step or option number one. Look at this. It's it's beautifully reddish. It's like your wine color. Mm. Amazing. Nice. Okay. So what most people do is that why their pomegranate juice turns out to be a bit milkish is because what they do is that they, they cut this whole thing and they, they just juice it right together with the, the white part here this is where it gets milky and uh, you, you want to avoid that because at times um, what will happen is that uh, frequently usually it turns out that your pomegranate juice is going to be bitter you do not want that you want it to be either sourish or sweet you know or sweet and sour that is what you want okay now, I'm going to show you the other conventional method, right? And uh, it's amazing. And in fact, this tool doesn't cost a lot. It just costs you about, about 30, 20, 30, up to $50. Um, you can get this amazing equipment, okay? So uh, go for the metal ones. Uh, it's more solid so that it doesn't shake all over the place, okay? Now, what you want to do is that same thing. You just want to slice your pomegranates into half. And um, this is how it looks like, a very simple device. This is where it filters um, all the seeds and the aerials, okay? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna show you how it is done. Now, of course, for this, this process of juicing pomegranate through this juicer or this presser, it requires a bit of strength, okay? So um, once you have placed your pomegranate up here, okay, what you wanna do is that you wanna be holding on to the bottom unless if this is bolted, to your table okay if it's if it's not bolted you gotta hold on here just to make sure that it doesn't move so what you do is that i'll place a glass right at the bottom because this is where the juice will be flowing down okay so i'm just going to start pressing it okay. wow, here you go you want to press to your best this is going to be a bit of of a challenge for some people but this is amazing because this is one of the good workouts for me okay Right. Press all the way, and what you want to do is that take it out, check it. This is how it looks like. Okay, um, I can still see that there's some juices here. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna switch positions, and I'm just gonna give it another good press. Okay, here you go. Ah. All right. Okay. So um, it may seem easy. But trust me, there's a lot of strength required to do this, okay? Now I'm gonna put the other one in here and I'm gonna start pressing it as well. 
So while I'm pressing this, pomegranate in fact comes from a few different countries. Um, definitely Turkey is one of them, right? So yeah, um, you don't have to worry which one is good. They are almost the same. What you want is to make sure that it's fresh. So stop buying all this pomegranate juice from the bottles that are labeled with three months expiry or from the boxes that is mixed with a lot of sugar, right? You just want it to be fresh. And it's just how simple it is where you can get this in your wet market, in your supermarket, and you can do this anytime, right? Anytime you want, just go into the kitchen, slice it in your half. You don't even need any skills and just start pressing it, okay? So I'm almost there. Look at this. Wow, look at it flowing through. All right. This is beautiful, right? It sounds so, so bloody refreshing, okay? So... Yep, this is, that's it, done. Okay, so of course, you do not want to waste some of these. So what you would do is that uh, you can take some spoon or fork out and you know, uh, yeah, just take all these areas up. So look at this, beautiful, right? Beautiful, red, clear. Like I said, it looks like your wine color. Didn't I promise you that? No milky color, all right? Mm. Here you go. Instead of a glass of wine, you should be having this, a glass, any time of the day, absolutely fine, with those eight powerful benefits, just in this small little glass, right, of one chewed pomegranate. Mm. So refreshing. It's beautiful. Oh my God, it's so good. I wish you were here now. I'm just going to press some and serve it to you. But um, you're not here. So anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to try this at home. Share with me. And for those of you who have been juicing pomegranate through whichever machines here at home, right? Let me know if you love it. And if you are still, please continue doing it. Okay, so um, yeah, we can take about a glass, um, up to three glasses a week absolutely safe right so this is something that i do on a weekly basis um, it's really really helpful drink it on an empty stomach if you can not after meals okay so this is mark leong here your asia suzuru i hope you've enjoyed this amazing sharing that i trust you will help to benefit you and now you know how to juice your own pomegranate better start juicing you know if you have any questions related to pomegranate or, or anything else that you would love for me to share with you how you can juice it type in the comments below and probably i will feature your question in the next juicy episode till then get set ready put your hands together put your hands together and my count three two one we're gonna do the boom thing all right three two one and boom